at an early age that I was interested in architecture and I actually didn't know exactly what it was. So I remember when I was about nine years old, we were given the task in school of deciding what we wanted to be when we grew up. And my idea was to build a city, and I actually had a whole city that I built, so I didn't know if it was architecture or engineering that was my interest, but I was always building houses from cardboard boxes and drawing up floor plans and just coming up with different concepts. When I went to ASU, I studied architecture, and there weren't very many women in the program. The field has really changed. When I first started off in the field, and for many years, whenever someone came, called ASID and asked, can you recommend a Hispanic woman who's a designer to, that I can talk to? And they'd say, oh yes, we'll give you Norma's number. She's Hispanic. <laughs> So if that tells you anything, there weren't that many women in the field in Phoenix that were Hispanic either, which I thought was really interesting. It's changed so much since then. Generally what we do is I meet with a client and go over their, re their needs in their space. There's a lot of psychology in this business and trying to understand what their needs are. I often will collaborate with them, come up with ideas. Sometimes I will create a mood board, which will give them a direction that I think that we'll, we should go in as far as colors and finishes. And from there, we go into finalizing some layouts and collaboratively with the client, come up with locations for furniture and finishes. It's really not just my vision, it's their needs and their vision as well. When it's all done, we do a final walkthrough and make sure that the project turns out exactly the way it needs to. I have to say that I'm very proud of my work and it, I take a lot of pride and it is always wonderful when I hear people say positive things. I was at TASC's headquarters not too long ago talking to the CEO and all of a sudden I overheard one of their um, clients walking in and he, and he looked around and he goes, wow, this is nice. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm having an impact on his life as well as others. And often when I'm talking to my clients and I walk in and they, they'll, they'll say, oh, this is our designer, Norma. This is, I take a lot of pride in that because everyone's very complimentary. It's hard to describe what it feels like to create a project because it feels like a part of you is in that project. And every project I've created, there's a part of me. And I can really sense that there's a connection. There'll always be a connection.